Good morning. Happy Main Vanilla's Monday. This is Christy Eggers bringing you a rewind from January 12th, 2015. It is Senior National Sales Director Emeriti, Scarlett Walker Simpson, who happens to be Crystal's mom. Isn't that exciting? Okay, it's called Having God Confidence. Y'all have a great Monday. We'll talk to you soon. Good morning. Welcome to Magnanimous Monday. This is Scarlett Walker Simpson, Senior National Sales Director, and Crystal Hunsucker's mother. And I am so excited to be on the call. And first, I just want to congratulate you for getting on the call and for uh, investing in yourself and that you are working on enlarging your vision and getting better and better every day. So I'm so proud of you and so glad that you're on here today. I want to talk to you about a few things today about building your confidence. So not just confidence in yourself, but having God's confidence. You know, God has created every one of us fearfully and wonderfully. Right now, I hope that you know that you are unique, you are different, that God created you unique. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about finding that God confidence. Because when you have God confidence, you can do anything. You know, the Bible says all things are possible, nothing is impossible. And so I know at this time, uh, in May, I will have been in Mary Kay for 25 years. And through those 25 years, of course, I've been through a lot of life. A lot of things have happened, good and bad. And I can tell you one thing, that I stand here today, and I can tell you with all my heart that Mary Kay is the very best place you can be. I can tell you that you will never regret building your Mary Kay business, and that I really, really encourage you to build a director, to build a national sales director, and that no matter what season you're going through in your life and what uh, the world's going through, you know, when we look around and we look at the economy, right now we're excited because oil prices are are uh, down and we get to go to the gas station and we got the gas pump and, and we get gas cheaper, excuse me. <laughs> but, you know, what's happening right now is a lot of people, it's costing them jobs and a lot of people are being laid off, and they don't have jobs right now because of the oil industry. Uh, different times through the last 25 years, I've seen the economy go up and down. I've seen real estate go up and down. But the one thing I've always seen steady and constant is our Mary Kay business. We have a, an awesome, amazing company that is debt-free, and we also have a company that has – awesome products that is dedicated and committed to being on the cutting edge and to continue to offer the best and the latest products. And so because of those things, the integrity and the culture that we have in Mary Kay, we have a business that is really recession-proof, that is economy-proof, no matter what the stock market's doing, no matter what's going on in the world all around us, our business stays steady. And I can tell you that it's something to really be thankful for. And I can tell you, uh, as I worked my business for 12 years as a single woman, totally supporting myself on my Mary Kay business, I'm very thankful for that. And even to this day, even right now, with the challenges and obstacles that I have in my life right now, my husband is critically ill right now and is undergoing um, cancer treatment, which is uh, clinical research treatment and so going through all the different ups and downs right now the past few months not really being able to work a lot but even through December uh, not being able to do a lot and still receiving a check for over sixteen seventeen thousand dollars in a month you know those are the things that I can tell you you will never regret working your Mary Kay business so I really really encourage you so let's talk a little bit more about the God confidence because I want to tell you a little bit about how to get that and how to have that because it'll make a difference in becoming successful. So the number one first thing is finding your passion. You know, it has been said that the most important days in your life was the day you were born and then the day that you knew the purpose of why you were born. And so finding your passion. Have you ever noticed that some people seem to be so full of energy and they always get so much done and they're always just, uh, busy and getting everything done. Well, I want to tell you a little secret. There are no high energy people and low energy people. There are people with passion and people that don't have passion. 
So what you want to do is find your passion. What is your passion in your Mary Kay business? I remember 24 years ago when I was in DIQ, when I wanted to become a director, my passion, I could see myself on that stage at seminar. I had gone to seminar my first year as I signed up, and I saw myself in that suit. I saw myself moving up. I get cold chills right now, even when I talk about it, the passion of that. And when you have passion, it helps you have energy. You can't sleep at night, can you, when you have passion? But if the wheels are turning, you're thinking, who can I talk to? Who can I facial? Who can have a party? Who can I share this opportunity with? Because you have passion. When I was working on becoming a national sales director, the same thing happened. I had so much energy. Yes, I had down times where I had to rest. Of course, everyone has to replenish and rest. But I had more energy because I had that passion. When you have passion, it's a fire. You're not taking a vote. You know you have to do it. It's in your heart. And passion is contagious. And when you get passion, then the other people around you want to be part of that. They want to jump on your train because you have a sign on your train that says going to directorship, going to England, going to national. You have a sign on there, and everybody else sees that sign and feels your passion, and it sends that energy to all of them. When you have a passion deep down inside to do something that you know that God has given you this God-given dream, and you are doing it for God's glory, then you are going to have a confidence that will come over you and equip you with every single thing you need. God will be working behind the scenes to bring you at the right place, at the right time, the right people, as long as you keep moving and keep going. And it begins with that passion. You'll be able to do and accomplish things you never have. I can look back over the years when the times I have worked with passion, And I see things fall together that I just can't even believe. I can't believe that this person became a sales director or that one of my customers was a reorder customer. And every few weeks, she would reorder something for me. And I had never met her. I got her as a reorder customer through a friend of mine. And I would drop her order off on her her doorstep. And I kept servicing her and giving her great customer service. And one day, I got to meet her. And when I met her, I thought, oh, my goodness, she would be a great sales director. And I had a passion to become a national. And I had a passion to share this opportunity with other people. I had a passion for other people to have what I had and to have a six-figure income and be able to put their family first and put God first. And so I had this passion in my heart for all these things. And I saw a woman that I thought would really benefit from this and really be great at it. And so I invited her to some guest events, and I gave her some free product to come because I really wanted her to come. I knew if I could get her there that she would sign up. And so she had to come to a couple of them before she did. But you know what? She signed up. And because of her, over 25 women became sales directors in my national area. Can you believe that? Because of a reorder customer. And she was one of my directors that debuted on stage with me when I became a national sales director. And we find what are good at. What are you good at? Because when you find what you are good at, that's where you want to work. You want to work in your strength zone. Because we all have different strengths. We complement and complete each other. You know, Crystal usually does the Magnanimous Monday call, and it's very evident. She has a gift. She is very uh, gifted with motivating, inspiring. That is her strength. But I'm going to tell you something. We all have weaknesses. She has weaknesses. So do I. And I want to tell you right now, write this down. Stop working in your weaknesses. And you know what? You know why you want to stop working in your weaknesses? Because you are weak. Now, before you say, well, that's not very nice, it's okay, because I am too. You know, we, it has been said that when you work in your strength zone, when you work on a certain thing, that you can raise it about two levels. Now, I, I love music. I just love it. I love listening to it. Uh, I love to sing. You know what? I am not a very good singer. And my level of singing is probably like a three, maybe four at the highest. Not really very good. And I could take voice lessons, and I could really practice every day. And I could work and work and work on it. And if I'm going to raise that about two levels, I could maybe get up to a five or a six. 
That would be the highest I could ever go. But on educating and teaching, I'm really good at that. And if I'm really good at that and I could be like a seven and I work on that and I see and I prepare and I practice and I get better and better at that, I could raise up a couple of levels. I could be a nine. Did you know people stand in line for level nines? They'll wait and wait to get into a level nine. And so you want to work in your strength. When you couple your passion, then with working in your strengths, you are unstoppable. Because you want to appreciate right now your uniqueness, your strength, and bring your 1%. You have 1% that's different from anybody else. 1%. God made all of us unique and different. And you have that 1%, how God wired you. And that's where you want to work, right there in your strength zone. Number three is knowing God's will for your life. The day that you were born and the reason why are the two most important days. Know what God has for you to do in your life. I know without a shadow of a doubt that God brought me into Mary Kay. I knew it when I sat in seminar and I sat up in the high level of the convention center and I saw all the women come across stage and some of them were short, some of them were tall, all different colors, all different sizes, and I saw them achieving success. I saw them earning cars and earning diamond rings and becoming sales directors. And I saw them all becoming successful. And I knew that God had brought me to that place for a reason. And he wanted me to use my strengths and use the purpose in my heart to lead, empower, inspire, and motivate other people in this company of Mary Kay Cosmetics. We are God first and family sacred critter where we work from the golden rule and where we know that everybody has a sign around their neck make me feel important. I know God brought me to this place and there's a reason why you're here too. So remember right now that you are here for such a time as this and know what is it that God has for you through this Mary Kay business? What does he have for you to do through this Mary Kay business? Where is your place here? And when you put God's will for your life with your passion and then working in your strength zone, you are going to go through the roof with this business. It is going to be unlimited with what you can do with it. The fourth thing, and lastly, is obeying God's will for your life. Have you ever really known what God wanted you to do? You knew that shadow of a doubt, what he wanted you to do, but you kind of ignored it. Sometimes... We make excuses, we have reasons, we have justifications of why we just really don't want to do something. Um, maybe it's too hard, maybe it's going to take up too much time, maybe we're going to have to have some sacrifices, and maybe flat out we just don't want to do it. I know in the Bible there was a man named Jonah, and God wanted him to go someplace that he didn't want to go. He did not want to go where God wanted him to, to go, and he just ignored what God was telling him. And, you know, God brought him into a place where he was swallowed by a well. And, you know, when he came out of that well, he figured out, you know what, I'm going to listen to God. I know that God has a plan for me, and I am going to do what God says I'm going, I need to do. And I've been in that place before where I ignored what God said I needed to do. And sometimes we know what we're supposed to be doing, and we know without a shadow of a doubt the things that he has told us to do, a person he's told us to call or a, a certain thing to do in our business, and we ignore it. And so we have to obey God's will for our life. You know, we are educated beyond our obedience. Sometimes we know what to do, but we just don't do it. Do you ever feel that way? This is a simple business. We book appointments. We hold facials and parties. We sell our awesome products. We book our next appointment while we're there, and we get referrals because we work from word of mouth, and then we share the opportunity. You know what that's called? That's called working full circle. It's working the business, just like Mary Kay taught us to. And everything happens when you hold facials and parties and when you work full circle, just like Mary Kay taught us. And when we know that God has told us to do something, whatever God says, to do we have to do it and that's the way we become successful and when you are doing what God tells you to do 
You can go anywhere. You can talk to anyone because you know he told you that this is your destiny, that this is what you're supposed to do. You will have the confidence. All of a sudden, you'll be able to talk to people and do things you never thought you could do. You're going to have the confidence that God is giving you, the strength. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. And I know every morning I get up and I look out the window and I say, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. <laughs> Some days, y'all, I get up and at first when I get up, I look around it. And I look at my circumstances, and I'm really questioned, can I do this? I don't know if I can do this. And then I start saying my affirmation, a scripture from God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God it will give us the grace and the strength to do every day what we need to do. That's what his word says. He has given you everything you need. You are not lacking anything. You are not in the wrong town. You know, you know enough people. You you have every single thing you need. Right now, all you have to do is move forward. And I am excited beyond words for your success and that you are part of this amazing and awesome company and that you are going to be called to an awesome, great destiny in Mary Kay Cosmetics. And 2015 is going to be your year of promotion and increase. Happy Monday. Have a great day.